people supported this this bill, then we will take action. Yeah! Anger, dismay and bitterness have been the hallmarks of this dispute. What's happening here isn't right. I'm a victim. You're a victim. And today, hundreds return to protest about foreign workers doing jobs they want to be doing. I've been out of work two months, and, you know, it's rubbish that they've brought Italian labour in. My main concern is uh, a livelihood for me and uh, the people who are younger than me and their children to come on to work. But we're not going to get it at the moment if we employ, if they employ, total employ and the government, to let it get by with employing foreign labour. And this is how the dispute arose. The Lindsay refinery in Killingholm is owned by the French oil company Total. They wanted to increase the refinery's capacity. The contract to complete the work was awarded to the Californian-based engineering group Jacobs. They in turn subcontracted the work to an Italian firm, Irem, on the basis that it was supplying its own permanent workforce of 300 mainly Italian and Portuguese workers. They have stayed on board their floating hotel to avoid inflaming the situation. EU citizens who have come to work here legitimately but controversially. It's baffling the protesters here who repeatedly quote a pledge made by the Prime Minister about creating British jobs for British workers. A world leader in the creative industries and yes, a world leader in modern manufacturing too, drawing on the talents of all to great British jobs for British workers. But the applause here is not for him, but for the defiant mood spreading across the country with other protests in sympathy. In Grangemouth, hundreds of workers walked out after an early morning meeting. It's crucial to support our lads because we travel up and down the country working, and it's, it was crucial to support these guys in this, this dispute. Further south, at Wilton on Teesside, 600 people also walked out in support of Killing Home, a peaceful protest picketing several gates. Gordon Brown said it was British jobs for British people and it is not happening at all. And in Wales, unions say up to a thousand workers demonstrated in Milford Haven and at Aberthaw near Barry, there was a rally outside the power station. Tonight, both sides in this dispute say they want to start discussions as soon as possible. But for the time being, the foreign workers are staying on their boat and the protesters say they'll be back on Monday. Danny Savage, BBC News, Killing Home.